What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. Today we're going to be talking about some brand new fragrances. I want to thank Scentbird who is sponsoring this video, at least in the form of providing these fragrances. So if you don't know about Scentbird, let's talk about them real quick. They are a fragrance subscription service and they aim to essentially kind of get rid of the headache and the frustration out of trying new fragrances because we all know that having to either go out to the store to buy a brand new fragrance at retail value, nobody wants to do that, or blind buying a fragrance from online, paying full value for that, nobody wants to do that. Nobody has time or money for that. Maybe you do, but let's be smart about it. Scentbird, again, they aim to make this process easier. They have a ton of fragrances to choose from. They have probably, I think, at this point, at least 450 fragrances in their catalog to choose from both designer and niche and how it works is you go on the website scentbird.com which I'll link down below you sign up for a subscription it's $14.95 a month every month they're going to send you a brand new fragrance and they give you the option of going into the catalog and actually looking through and picking which fragrance you want and when your new fragrance comes in you're it's going to come like this in this really really nice little like kind of velour velvety pouch it's marked with the logo there it can tie up if you want to take it with you and that's what this is all about all of this design is for it to be mobile and it's going to come in one of these little colored like lipstick cases where you turn it slides up now what inside of this is going to be eight milliliters of your fragrance which is a very generous amount in my opinion and it's going to be labeled and this one in particular which i will be talking about in a second is from the house of robert graham it's called fortitude so what we're going to do here i'm going to talk about these four fragrances they sent me and then i'm going to give you my general kind of opinion and general guidelines when it comes to using a subscription service like scentbird so first we're holding this one <laughs> might as well talk about it once again this particular fragrance is called Fortitude, comes from the house of Robert Graham. Now, Robert Graham's fragrances, uh, actually this was my introduction into them. I think they're pretty new in terms of fragrances. They are a designer house. Uh, Robert Graham makes clothing for men and women. Kind of delving into the world of fragrances as of recently. And I think they have maybe three in their catalog at the moment. I have two of them here with me that I'll be talking about, including this one, Fortitude. Now these fragrances, from what I can tell so far, are very simple, and there's nothing wrong with that. Apparently only consists of three notes, fortitude that is. It consists of tobacco, patchouli, and tonka bean. And from what I can gather about this, you can basically smell all three of those fragrance notes. So how this comes off is mainly sweet, a little resinous, a little bit earthy. And the tobacco is also pretty prominent in this one. And because of that, that tobacco and the sweetness and the earthiness, what I'm actually reminded of immediately is Shergi from the house of Serge Luton. It literally smells like Shergi to me. In the air, I kind of get that honeyed sweetness with the tobacco. And, uh, and Shergi has that hay note, so it adds this bit of earthiness to it. And I think the patchouli kind of helps to almost substitute for that in Fortitude from Robert Graham. And I like Shergi, so I do like this. I don't love it, but I like it. It's a pleasant scent, it's warming, again, kind of sweet. Definitely something I would wear in the fall and the winter months. It's pretty elegant, so I would wear it at night, maybe going out. Projected on me for a good one to two hours and lasted for about up to seven. But my only real gripe with this, and I'm gonna be talking about the other Robert Graham fragrance kind of in the same light, is that it's a little two dimensional for me. It's kind of flat in terms of scent profile. It, it, there's no real depth to it, and that's, I think, kind of what happens when you're dealing with fewer notes. That's just what it is. There's not gonna be a whole lot of complexity to it. It's gonna be fairly linear. I think as this thing dries down, it just kind of gets a little bit more sweet on my skin. But, you know, your mileage may vary. So those are my thoughts on Robert Graham's Fortitude, which again is a brand new release that you can easily try out with Scentbird if you are interested. Our next one here, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Here's a black one. And inside of this, ah. So this is a house I wasn't familiar with. Ulrich Lang, New York. 
And this particular fragrance is called Apsu or APSU. I'm not really sure. This is a niche fragrance house from what I could see. And again, this is a newer release from the house. What this smells like to me, honestly, first of all, it comes off a little feminine on my skin. It's very kind of watery and floral. Um, violet leaf is a major player in this. And uh, there's also this green leaf accord in it. And there's some other floral notes in it. What it comes off to me is honestly cucumber water with some slightly sweet florals. It's not really my taste, not my profile at all. I wouldn't wear this. It is marketed as unisex, but I think this would work much better on a woman just in terms of the uh, scent character of this one. It's pretty light, but it is present. You know, I didn't honestly keep it on my skin for very long because I wasn't crazy about it. After about three hours, it was still present. It would probably go a little bit longer than that. But uh, any females watching, you might be interested in this. Or if you like these watery green scents, check this one out in general. I think it, it is interesting. It's not really anything I've smelled before. It's just not my taste. So that is Apsu or APSU from Ulrich Lang. This is, I believe, the other Robert Graham. And I think it's called, they come in different colors here with these little cartridges. That's nice. This is Robert Graham Courage. And this one, similar to Fortitude, very simple. Only three notes, I believe. Gaiac wood, bergamot, and supposedly vodka. Now, I don't really get a booziness from this at all, but it does have this freshness to it, this kind of cooling effect that I think could come from the vodka. What this smells like, it's aquatic. It smells like a woody aquatic. There's not really much sweetness to it. Kind of salty, but not really. That bergamot blast is going to be up front with that Gaiac wood. And then as the bergamot dries down, you have this kind of cooling woody effect. It's kind of aquatic, like I said. And it's just okay. Actually, I prefer Fortitude over Courage. I'm not crazy about this one. For an aquatic scent, Honestly, I'm not crazy about them, and when they're super linear, I don't really vibe with them. But if you love aquatics, this one is good to check out. I would say that it is good quality. I'll give you that. It's a good quality blend, as blended as it can be, but it's just very linear. But it is pleasant. It is a pleasant scent. I don't think anyone's going to really be off-put by this when it's in the air. Great for the summer, great for the spring. And again, pretty brand new release that you can easily test out through Scentbird, so that's something to check out. And finally, this is a funny one. And this is kind of ironic too. So the scent I'm gonna be talking about now is actually my favorite one that Scentbird sent me to review. This came out just last year, 2017. This comes from the house of Mercedes-Benz. And this is called Mercedes-Benz Man Blue. So, to put it simply, this smells like Dior Sauvage. This was intended to be a Dior Sauvage interpretation, clone, whatever you want to call it. And I honestly like it more than Dior Sauvage. What you get in this, you get kind of the basic notes that you would expect from this genre, which is the Dior Sauvage genre, which seems to be sweeping the market. Bergamot, lavender, and broxen, some kind of pepper. But in this one, we have the addition of tonka bean, which does kind of help to smooth and round out the scent quite a bit. Add that sweetness to it. I think it just makes it more pleasant. It's nowhere near as sharp as Dior Sauvage, even the EDP, which is high on spices, which at first can be a little bit off-putting, just really spicy up top. But this one, I think everything is, this is probably the most well-blended of this genre that I've honestly smelled. Now, if anything, it's actually kind of closer to Prada Luna Rosa Carbon in terms of what it reminds me of. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon comes off as a less sharp, a little bit more rounded, and a tad bit sweeter version of Sauvage, a little bit lighter as well. But this is even a touch sweeter than Luna Rosa Carbon. So that's kind of catering to my taste. I actually like it a little bit more than Luna Rosa Carbon, and even a little bit more than the Sauvages, both EDT and EDP. Honestly, this is kind of the direction I wish Dior went for Sauvage EDP when it comes to adding this kind of warming and oriental nature to it and the sweeter nature to it. It's just really pleasant. It, again, it smells like Sauvage, but a little bit sweeter, a little bit smoother. And I think it's kind of like a perfected version of it, to be quite honest. That's just my opinion. I would wear this over Sauvage. Performance is okay. It's 
lighter than Sauvage. It's kind of like in between Sauvage and Luna Rosa Carbon in terms of performance. It's gonna be a little bit more present than the Prada, but not anywhere near as loud as the Dior. You're gonna get maybe five to seven hours of longevity and projection will be good between the one and two hour mark. At least it was on my skin. Really easy to wear. This one is actually hard to find in terms of getting a bottle. It is pretty brand new. I could only find it at Dillard's website for like $85 for 100 mil. So if you wanna try this out, you're looking for some kind of alternative to this whole Prada, Luna Rosa Carbon, Dior Sauvage genre, check this out via Scentbird. That's gonna be your best bet. Again, you just pay the subscription fee of $14.95 a month. Also, I forgot to mention, I think this is relatively new. For new subscribers, you automatically get 25% off your first month. So you're gonna pay around like 11 something, $11 uh, for your first month subscription, which I think is cool. Now, again, this is my favorite one. I actually see myself wearing this, maybe even replacing Dior Sauvage, depending on, you know, if my feelings stay the same as I continue to wear. Now, here's what I think about using a subscription service. You're paying, again, a set fee a month, which is a very affordable fee, you know, up to $15 after, you know, the discount is applied for the first month. Basically, that applies to every fragrance in their catalog, designer and niche. Now, their catalog is growing extensively, especially on the niche side. So if you are interested in niche, I mean, they have all the major houses you might want. Carna Barcelona, Aqua de Parma, uh, they got Amouage. They have Etat Libre de Range. They have Aiden Bob, you know, the, the list goes on. They have a lot of great, great picks. And again, they're slowly adding to their catalog more and more. Now, as you might know, niche fragrances are more expensive than designer. So the idea is you can pay $15 for an eight milliliter sample of, for instance, Aiden Bob Egypt or something like that, which the retail value of a bottle of that is I'm pretty sure well over $100. Or you can pay $15 for an eight milliliter sample of Gucci Guilty Black. Sorry if I'm putting them on blast with this one, but I think that's just the reality of it. Gucci Guilty Black is a much less expensive fragrance than Aiden Bob. So that's kind of how I would approach it. I would use it to sample niche fragrances, but that's just me. Not everyone loves niche. Some of you guys really dig designer fragrances. And if you're having trouble getting your nose on many of them, maybe they're not in your stores near you like your Macy's or anything like that. This is a great way to try them. And again, they're always adding new designer releases as well. So I highly recommend checking out Scentbird if you haven't already. Scentbird, thank you guys so much for letting me get my nose on these new fragrances. Please let me know if you have any questions. Once again, Scentbird's link is down in the description. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.